What is up guys, welcome back to Coaching Levels and in today's video I'm actually going to be talking about freestyling drills versus going by the manual on drills. So freestyle versus by the book drills. Obviously now I'm more of a coach that likes to freestyle, I'm sure you can tell from some of my basketball videos I've actually made up a few drills on my own that I think are effective and I think as long as you go by the basic principles of the freestyling drills you should be okay because you're not you're not um, cutting any corners or cheating any corners to try and get to or maybe help your players to get to a certain level now i think uh freestyling drills is important because um you know it helps you be creative and i think being creative in basketball is so important because it helps you develop your own style of play and of course in basketball creativity is just pretty much endless for me personally okay so let's just start off with freestyling drills now freestyling drills it's just another creative way and of course you can just test it out you know, just to see if it works or not and of course just follow the basic principles now i will say this is that it's also um freestyle can work on any skill it can work on any skill shooting dribbling passing any skill in basketball it can work now what you have to realize about when you're doing freestyling is that you have to go by the basic principles and of course you're going to have to follow some of the basic principles for it to you know progress your players and you're making sure that your players are doing this for a purpose because if you're doing this draw without a purpose then of course you yourself as a coach are going to be lost your players are definitely going to be lost so remember take it in baby steps yeah you want to start off you know creating this draw and adding certain things to it maybe to an existing draw you can do that you can just enhance it that's all you really need to do honestly so when it comes to freestyling drills just make sure like i said before creativity um, a purpose and of course just test it out you know and as time goes on you're going to realize that okay maybe this is a good creative drill that i can implement in training for players and you know of course it's just, it's just going to help go a long way and of course use it however freely you may choose once you get the main purpose and the right skill set the right um type of guidance with these with these drills because i think it's good to also kind of make freestyling and by the book integrate with each other just because of the fact that you know when you're freestyling drills you know you might need uh let's say you might need a setup that's in the manual so once you have a setup that's in your manual you can kind of freestyle it how you want to do it and that's why like i just said before guys use it freely however you choose so by the book um drills of course these type of drills are good for coaches who can't really think on the spot and can't really i don't really feel like they have anything creative to bring to basketball but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that just go with by the book you know if you want to structure your your sessions by exactly by the book then you just do that you keep on doing that and of course you progress your players however you're still going to progress your players either way so just if you can't structure your lessons or anything on this type of sessions just use the book it's there to help you it's a guidance now there's nothing wrong with by the book drills at all there's nothing wrong with it at all without um without the actual books for basketball drills we wouldn't have any type of structure towards actually trying to build better drills or even being be able to create eight of our own drills because i think personally that is the way that you should start off as a coach go by the book then as time goes on just create your own drills now if there was a good basketball drill books i've used recently like there's so many to choose from and either way no matter what you pick you're going to find a good drill regardless and it's going to teach you the layers of each drill how to progress it and how to make it easier if it's too hard for a lot of players when it comes to um the type of level that um by the book drills actually teaches you it teaches at all levels from beginner coaches to expert coaches so even if you feel like you know you're, you kind of lost a bit a little bit of that knowledge just refer back to the book and of course you know you can always just you know tick boxes and say okay you've worked on shooting how can you progress it what can you progress that's why the book is there the book will explain how can you um let's say progress a zigzag draw it will say maybe stay at the corner longer do more hard dribbles hard pounds that's what it will say it will say any little detail that you forget that's what the book is there for lastly with by the book draws uh you know it goes over positioning a lot better you know because i realize when you do do freestyling drills um it becomes you you start to realize that the positioning you know you're trying to work on with certain players it might not help them so when it comes by the book it will go over positioning it will go over different types of position how to shoot dribble pass or where to pass where to shoot where to dribble where to go that that sort of thing 
So, you know, take it into account, guys, that, um, you know, both freestyling and by the book is trying to help your drills as coaches progress all over the place. So, guys, with these two types of um, drills, freestyling drills, by the book drills, use it to your advantage. Now, of course, there's going to be preferences, but even with those preferences, just understand certain coaches. Some coaches prefer to use freestyling drills more than by the book drills. Some people prefer to use by the book drills than freestyle drills. Me personally, I like to freestyle drills, but I never forget about by the book drills because I feel like it's good to go back and check on certain drills because, um, you know, I've, I've even enhanced certain drills in, in certain sessions that I do where people have done zigzag drills and I've enhanced it. And the way you enhance it is just like we say, you turn to set the cone number or you make the distance either longer or smaller. That's a progression. Why? Because it's helping not only with um, awareness, but speed of the core. So it's working on the most multiple things, guys. That's what you want to work on with these things, yeah? By the book drills, freestyle drills, make sure you know your drills work on multiple things rather than just one. Well, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you do want to keep up to date, be following my social medias. All the links will be down below. And I'll see you for the next video.